This is the tutorial for the Chaley trousers. If you don't already have the pattern, the link is in the description. We're going to start with the waistband. You can see I've cut two front waistbands and two back waistbands. I've interfaced one set, so I've got a back and a front that has interfacing on and a back and a front that doesn't. You can see the front waistband is slightly curved and much shorter than the back waistband because the back waistband has elastic in it. So I'm going to match these side seams here, pop a pin in them and stitch a centimetre from the raw edge. So I'm going to pin both sets of waistband each side and I'm going to stitch all those right now. There we go, quick back tack. Back tack for the end. That's one seam. Do that for all of them. There you go. You can see I've got sort of like a sort of in a circle now. And I'm going to press these seams open so they're nice and flat. Try and reduce the bulk a little bit. There we go. Nicely pressed seams. Next, I'm going to stitch along the top edge. So as I said before, it's a sort of curve, like a smile. We're going to stitch the top edge of that curve. So you want to pop one inside the other, right sides together, match those seams. The curves go together. And it's the top edge of that curve that we're going to stitch a centimetre from the edge. We'll go all the way around the back waistband as well, which is straight. So just pin those quickly. And then stitching a centimetre down. Here we go. So we stitched all the way around the top. Now I'm going to just clip these bits of seams and trim down the interfaced waistband to half that seam allowance. That's it. Do that all the way around. I'll just do a little bit to show you. That's it. And then we're going to pull that open and push that seam allowance over towards the interfaced waistband. So you can press it first before you stitch if you like. I find it's fine just to pull it open as I stitch and I'm going to stitch right on the edge of that interfaced edge there from the right side. So here we go. I've got that seam allowance pulled under right across towards the interfaced waistband and I'm stitching on the edge there. Nice edge stitch so that it will give us a really nice, easy to press, crisp edge on the top of our waistband. There we go. As you can see, just a couple of millimetres away from the ditch. So when we fold it over, it folds quite nicely and quite easily. We're going to give it a press. There you go, nice edge to that waistband. All that's left to do on this for the moment is I'm going to overlock the edge of the interface part. There we go, just to neaten it. Done. So put your waistband aside for now. We're going to start with our pockets. This is the front trouser part. As you can see, I've put a little strip, just one centimetre wide, by the length of the pocket opening and stuck that to the opening of my pocket just to give it some strength and stop it stretching. I'm going to stitch that now a centimetre from the edge. That was my pocket bag section going on there. Now my pocket bag, you can see I've stitched through it there. The pocket bag I'm going to trim down to half and we're going to do a bit more edge stitching. This also just gives it a bit more strength and stops it stretching with wear. Nice crisp edge when you've pressed it to. So I'm going to stitch right on the edge of that pocket there. Here we go. So 
So there we are, you can see the seam allowance was pushed towards the pocket, stitched on the edge of the pocket and now I'm going to give that a press, roll the edge over and that will be a really nice edge and a nice crisp pocket. There we go. Okay, so you want to repeat that for the other side and now we're going to pop on the pocket bag section that's actually part of the trousers. So you'll see what I mean, you need to lay it over the top. This is the wrong side of the trousers, but you want to put those fabric pieces right sides together of the pocket bag sections and we're going to, if you match up your curves you should be perfect. I'm going to pin those together and just stitch through just the pocket bags around the curves. There we go, about a centimetre in again. So we've just stitched round the pocket bag, not through the trousers as well. As you can see, there's no mark of the pocket. It just makes the bag and part of the trouser, as you could see there. I'm going to overlock the edge quickly. Nice finish. And then I'm going to stitch through all the layers at these two points, at the waist and the side seam, just so that when you put the rest of the pieces together, it all acts as one piece of fabric, so there's no kind of jiggling about with different layers. There you go, big stitch just to hold it together. You can see you've got a lovely crisp pocket. And repeat for the other side. Okay, time for the side seams and the inside leg seam. You can see I've overlocked these before I've stitched. And I'm going to put, that's the front, trouser back over the top of the front, right sides together. Pin down the side seams. Pin down my inside leg. And I'm going to stitch from the crutch down and from the waist down. Quick back tack, one centimetre seam allowance as always. Back tack to finish. Same for the side seam. Okay, let's take these pins out and then I'm going to press these seams open. There we go. Press that one open, the inside leg, and the waist to M1 on the outside. Nicely pressed. Repeat for the other trouser leg. Just show you what it looks like from the right side, starting to look like trousers. Okay, now we're going to sew our crutch seam. You can overlook the crutch before or after, it's up to you. I'm going to turn one of my legs inside out and one the right way out so that when I tuck one inside the other, I can put them right sides together. I can pin the front crutch together. I've got, there's my inside leg seam. I'm gonna pin that first, match those nicely, and then match this faux opening at the front. We're gonna, we need that notch there because we're gonna stitch from there all the way down. So it's a straight line rather than follow the shape of the opening. There we go. So we're gonna stitch straight down and round and all the way up the other end of the crutch. Here we go. This will be much clearer when you see after I've stitched it. So you kind of ignore the opening as it's not real. Here we go. So you can see I've just ignored that piece of fabric that's for the fake opening and I've just stitched right the way around. I would double stitch that crutch just for strength 
and I'm going to overlock the edge now on mine. So this is what they look like the right way out. We're going to do this fly opening now, which is obviously a fake one. I've pressed it over to one side and I'm going to mark it with chalk on the right side. Normally I would just kind of feel where that edge is and follow it on the sewing machine sort of intuitively, but I appreciate it's much easier to have a chalk line. So I'm marking where the bottom is and doing a little curve. You could always tack this as well if you wanted to or pin it before you stitch it. And I'm just gonna stitch from the right side so that I can see how it's looking. And it's just to give the impression that they're trousers with an opening really. Decorative finish. There we go. So that's what you'll be left with. Rub that chalk off I think. And uh, there's your fly front. Next we're going to do the pleats at the waist. It's just one each side of the fly. We've got one, two, three, four notches here and we're going to count one, two and number four and we're going to join those together, match them up. So we'll pop some pins in there. So the back of the pleat points towards the fly and the front of the pleat points towards the pocket or the side seam. We're going to do it. Look, I'll show you again on the other side. So we've got four notches. This one's very close to the fly. So we've got one, two, three, four. So two and four go together, right sides together. And the back of the pleat folds back towards number one. There we go. Two pleats and we're going to put a stay stitch in there. quick stitch to secure those pleats down. We don't want to have to do them again. There we are. We're really looking like a pair of trousers now. That's what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so let's put this waistband on. So here we go. We can tell the front, remember, because it's smaller than the back. I want the uninterfaced part of the waistband attached to the front of my trousers like so. So I'm going to find the side seams, pin those. So I've got right side of the fabrics together, matching the side seams. My front waistband should fit nicely onto the front of my trousers. There we go, that's pinned and then I'm going to do the same with the back waistband, which again should fit nicely. Pin it along the top edge. And then I'm going to stitch the centimetre seam allowance as usual all around the waistband. Here we go, this is all stitched. So I've got my waistband attached to my trousers at the top now. And I want to push this seam allowance up towards the waistband. So that's the trousers at the bottom being pushed up towards the waistband, that seam allowance. I'm gonna give it an iron. There we go, so that's pressed upwards now. So I've got a nice crisp edge and I'm gonna trim down any of the sort of seam allowancey bits and I'm going to grade the waistband by half. So that's the seam allowance of the waistband is trimmed down by about half just to reduce a little bit of bulk. It's mainly for the back because it's elasticated obviously it's going to be a bit more bulky, the front not so much. But trim that all the way around and then we'll put the elastic in. Right, so this is my elastic. I'm making the size 16 here. So my elastic should be 39 centimetres 
long. That will make it the finished waist on the instructions. So this is my front waistband. I'm matching my elastic over my seam allowance and I'm going to stitch it through where I've done the seam. So it's in that ditch there. And then without twisting my elastic, I'm pinning it again. My front waistband is to the right, my back waistband is to the left, and I've pinned it over the seam allowance and I'm gonna stitch it in the ditch. So here we go, a bit of ditch stitching. Secure it well. So there we go, you can see I've stitched it through the elastic. I've got a centimetre of elastic for my seam allowance. And now I'm going to, again, this is my back waistband. I'm gonna fold that seam allowance over my elastic. So it's pointing upwards. And I'm gonna fold my back interfaced waistband part over the top so it lies flat and covers all of that elastic and all the seam allowance. Let's put some pins in, make sure it's nice and flat. As you go, you'll have to pull your elastic a little bit so it will ruckle up a bit. So again, you may want to tack this down as well as pin it to secure it. Now I'm gonna stitch in that ditch all the way around my waistline. So here we go. I'm stitching in that ditch formed by the seam of the waistband and the trousers. And as I go, I'm making sure that elastic is covered by the seam allowance and that my under waistband is lying flat across it all. Having a quick look there. Now it's starting to pull up. Look, you can see it's starting to gather as I get halfway across. I'm pulling the elastic a little bit to flatten it out and again making sure everything's lying flat underneath the machine. And just carefully as you go, make sure everything's in the right place. Like I say, tucking is a really good idea if you're unsure about this, if you find this fiddly. You go all the way around. So here you can see now, this is my front waistband. The under waistband is all nice and flat and at the front, oh, a few stragglers, you can see that top waistband's lovely and smooth and crisp and I've stitched in the ditch so you can't see the stitching. Let's just pull that elastic so it's nice and evenly gathered. You could do a top edge stitch if you wanted to, you could stitch more on your elastic, it's up to you. This is just a plain version. So now we're going to do the hems. I like to press my hem before I stitch it. So I'm going to measure up four centimetres and then another four centimetres. So I can press that first four centimetres up. Now just marking with some chalk. So I can fold it in and give it a press. And I know that's four centimetres. And I'm going to fold it again and stitch on the edge. So this one I've pressed already so you can see, look, I've measured up four and up four again and then I've pressed it. So it's all kind of ready to go. Again, you can pin it or tack it if you need to. And I'm just going to stitch on the edge here. I've done quite a deep hem and um, folded it double because I think it gives it a little bit of extra weight which makes them hang nicely. There we go, it just needs a press. Repeat for the other side and then you'll have a pair of trousers. Enjoy!